Hey everyone, so I'm here in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam and I'm about to go do a little bit of shopping, just pick up one or two things. So I'm going to show you what a supermarket looks like here. So let's go do this. And I'll also show you a few of the prices because things are very cheap in Vietnam and it's nice to get a sense of exactly how cheap things are. Okay, so you can get a thing of milk there for 34,000, which is about a dollar and a half, US dollar and a half. Okay, so fruits in Vietnam can vary in price quite a lot, but some of it can be really cheap. Apples are kind of expensive, but you see you can get like apples for like 60,000, yeah. 65,000 per kg, so one kg would be about three US dollars, so not that bad. Uh, these are amazing Asian pears. I first tried them in Korea and I love them. All right, there's some prices for pork, and pork is relatively cheap here. Yeah. But uh, beef, on the other hand, is a little bit more expensive, looking at about $15 per kg. So that little piece there is $1. That piece there. And fish, I never really buy fish, but. And then chicken is really cheap. You got there like that, you know, breast, what is that, breast, leg kind of thing. Quarter chicken really is 25,000, which is like just over one US dollar. And you can usually buy like skinless chicken breast too. And we got some eggs, eggs are cheap. That's basically one dollar for a big pack of eggs. And we got some fruits. Ooh, dragon fruits is the best. I think that's 60,000 per kg, so about $3 per kg. And fruit just kind of depends on the season too. So. Long hands, long hands are great. And that's 40,000, so that's about $2 for that. Grapes are always expensive in Vietnam. That's like 90,000, which is little over four dollars. We got some bread. Uh, Asia does not do bread very well, gotta admit. I mean that there's 29,000 which is about a dollar and a half. This here is 18,000 so a little under a dollar. Box of Pringles for 30,000 which is about a dollar and a half. Finished up at the supermarket and basically just bought ice cream. Um, I went now to visit Pavina, who actually was in a bit of a motorcycle accident. Um, so brought her ice cream. So she's all right, just a bit of a bruised ankle, I believe. She's just gonna see how it is, uh, take it from there. But yeah, that does happen in Vietnam. There are accidents, so like it's not all perfect, you know. Um, anyway. I'm with Carl. <laughs> Hello. Get your mask on there. Always gotta be safe. Better safe than sorry in Vietnam. Okay. Yeah, how are you doing today? <sighs> <laughs> right. Whenever I breathe deeply, I can feel it in my lungs. But it's getting a little better day by day. I'm taking um, menthol, which is supposed to clear up your sinuses. But it's not 100% great yet. Yeah, so the Ninja Teacher team's got some casualties right now. Oh yeah. But, we'll but hopefully Jacqueline's doing fine. 
Yeah, I think she's doing fine in denying. She's just Living like on the beach. Carefree, carefree beach lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go visit her in about a week, so yeah. there's gonna be some videos on denying soon, which should be awesome. So Kyle and I decided to come here to Komtam Bagian, which is the best Komtam place in Vietnam, arguably. Uh, there's actually a TV show here that we were in for like one second. They cut us down to one second, and here it is. Look at that. And how much is this? It's like 40,000. It might be a little bit more expensive here. Yeah. But look at that. It Let's looks say. it looks 40,000 quality. Yeah. It's broken rice, which is amazing, and it's got the egg and pork steak. So good. It's that little sweet sauce. It's spicy sauce, actually. Oh yeah, spicy. Yeah, the peppers. <coughs> well, it's fish sauce with chili. So, so Carl just poured all his fish sauce on his kum tam. That's the only way. <laughs> That's what you do. Yeah. This is not a very strong one. Some are more potent than others, but it is really good on your rice. But I mean, that's that's a lot. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful seeing some of the prices and foods in the supermarket. You can pretty much get everything you want. Uh, like I said, like bread for example, it's hard to find good bread. Uh, but you know, all the usual stuff, it's, it's really not hard to find. So you can get almost everything you need. So if you aren't subscribed yet, make sure to do that. Stay tuned for more videos about teaching English and life in Asia. And I'll speak to you soon.